Yeah, we got a new show for y'all. Remember, everybody, you can always support the Hodge Twins at officialhodgetwins.com. Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt and hat today. Even got some beard products. Yeah. Use discount code Chinese virus will give you 20% off. Well, I forgot to say that, huh? Yeah, don't forget. You get 20% off. Just use discount code Chinese virus. You're telling them not to forget, and you forgot. Sorry. Hey, and um, to fight censorship, I put a tab up on our website, and there's some links to our social media that's not being censored. Yeah. Uh, we just joined Telegram. I'm excited about Telegram. I love Telegram, man. I like that. It's I can cool. post my videos. I can post little small clips. Yeah, you can post whatever you want over there. And from what I hear, man, I think Russia owns it, so we should be good. <laughs> And uh, there's a couple links on there. It's under the fight censorship tab. Let's start the show. Yeah. To all the service member. There was service members. That's Put an S on. You said member. To all the service members. There was out there protecting that scumbag president of ours. <laughs> for Thank you for your service. <laughs> um, For the inauguration. Yeah. But, uh, you know, there was a conspiracy theory. They actually took some National Guardsmen away from the inauguration wow. because it was a... Uh, they thought that a couple of them was going to try to blow his brains out. <laughs> and they trying to say people on the right have conspiracy theories. But they said they um they were they had links to uh, far-right extremism or something? No, no, I think there's Trump supporters. <laughs> <laughs> what? You voted for Trump? Hey, we gotta, you, gotta, you can't do this detail. <laughs> Give me your rifle. <laughs> no, matter of fact, you ain't going. <laughs> but anyway, uh, everybody's been talking about this. I mean, after the inauguration, um, you could see a lot of the, it was thousands of them. Over 5,000, man. It was thousands. Army National Guard. First, it was inside the Capitol building. Yeah. Taking it easy. I already know what people are thinking. Oh, my God. Everybody's going to get COVID. <laughs> there, there was no social. 5,000 people in there huffing and puffing on everybody? <laughs> with no mask on? That is a mass spreader event. <laughs> That's what them liberals going to say. Man, look at all them people. They all up on each other. <laughs> 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 Everybody's getting COVID in now. <laughs> and for some reason, I mean, I, I think that's what people are saying. And they were moved to the garage parking area because of Parking that. structure. Yeah. Well, you park your car and said, hey, y'all got to get out of here. <laughs> y'all finna give everybody COVID. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, think about that. Thousands of soldiers. Yeah, two bathrooms, I heard. I mean, I'm sure there's bathrooms in the parking structure, but is it <laughs> enough to sustain thousands of people? I mean, it's over 4,000 penises. I'm What's thinking it had at least been 1,000 vaginas. How many bathrooms you need to serve 5,000 penises? You know what, That's Kevin? a whole bunch of bathrooms, man. Hey, man, you told me not to say anything stupid during the videos. You just told me that, and you're going to bring that up? No, I'm just putting things into perspective, man. They say 5,000 troops know over. Shut up! <laughs> you ain't even got to go there. Yeah, I do, man. And um, that, I got to go there. Okay. You, 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 I have to go there. You, you I got to paint a picture for these people, man. Man, you made your statement. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> right? So, and then, um, you know, I, I, people are making this political. Yeah. Uh, look how uh, this administration's handling the troops and yeah, playing the political side of it. I say, look. Well, look how they was uh, treating Trump when he was bringing, like, people from colleges, feeding them Chick-fil-A and McDonald's. Oh, the basketball teams? Yeah. Uh, I love McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. I don't see the real problem, really. Yeah, and, I, and I, you can't help to think if Trump was still in yeah. office, how this would have been spun. Right. Right? But mm -hmm. I'm not going to even go there. I mean, this had nothing to do with Biden's administration. This is how military is treated. I sh we should know. We were in yeah. the Marine Corps. And I'm not trying to defend, uh, defend Joe Biden. I think he's a, horse in that, a horse's ass. But yeah. he has nothing to do with this. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we speak from experience. We're yeah. in the Marine Corps. These yeah. people are soldiers. You don't supposed to make it easy for them. Yeah, this is this is nothing more than a training exercise for them. Yeah. If you put them in in hotels, Lay beds, them up. Yeah. hot showers, they're gonna be expect when they go to war. Hey, hey, uh, where's the hotel at? <laughs> Can I get a hot shower before I go out there and kill these people? What? Yeah, I gotta sleep outside. It's cold out there. <laughs> yeah, I give you. Examples like when I was in the Marine Corps, I was stationed in yeah. San Diego, right? Yeah. And once a year we had to go to Camp Pendleton. Yeah. 
and uh, pretend to be real Marines. <laughs> we'd go out to Lake Pogos, and we'd be yeah. out in the sticks out in the field yeah. playing war games. Right. And I'm telling you, this was horrible conditions. <laughs> I mean, we went there. I, I remember one uh, year, we went in November. It was cold as hell. I didn't realize how cold California got, right? Yeah. And it started raining on us. <laughs> and our uniforms, our rifles. I mean, it was horrible. We just got done playing war games. And uh, it started raining. It was cold. I mean, we were actually out there crying. <laughs> <laughs> you find out real quick, 50 degrees when it's raining, oh, it feels like 30 below out there. Yeah, right? And it, it was it was horrible conditions. Yeah. So, and then the sun went down, and they didn't <laughs> ship us to a, uh, to the barracks or anything. Yeah. We put up tents. <laughs> <laughs> cold, wet. You yeah. could see your damn breath coming out your mouth. Yeah. Right? And you had to crawl your ass up in a, a sleeping bag yeah. and go to sleep this close with another dude. Yeah. Sitting there looking at each other all night. Yeah. In the tent. You could just imagine what that smells like. Right? And <laughs> it was just, I couldn't fall asleep. So you had to take all your uniform off and sleep bucket naked. You felt better. Yeah. Butt naked in your arm. Um, Either that or you die from hypothermia. <laughs> take your pick. I mean, they don't hold your hands in the military. And I remember like 2 o'clock in the morning, yeah. I heard this uh, Lance Corporal go, oh, oh, my God, oh, God. <laughs> so we came out our little tents, right? What Cold. the hell's going on in there? <laughs> Everybody's wearing their little tidy whites. Yeah. Hopped out their bags, see what's going on. Some damn raccoons that went up in this um, <laughs> this one Marine's tent, right? Yeah, damn that ripped that black, black his black ass to pieces. <laughs> He must have some cornbread, some <laughs> collard greens, some hog moss in there, some, <laughs> some sweet potato pie there. <laughs> but they told us when you're in the field, yeah. you uh, when you're done eating, you yeah. need to dis uh, dispose your food. You don't yeah. you don't take nothing back into your tent because the wildlife will smell that yeah. and come up in there and try to have them some supper. Yeah, he lucky a damn bird didn't walk up in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, you're cut. This is the way the military, that's my whole point. This is yeah. how military is treated. Them yeah. uh, laying down on the cement in the parking garage, mm -hmm. that's like a picnic for them. Yeah, if infantry saw that, 0311s, people who actually, yeah. actually are real military. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look how they're being treated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Why did I join the infantry? Yeah. At least they got a nice warm place to stay. Yeah. Oh, man, that, that cement floor looks so good. I could go to sleep. So easy. Yeah, it's a picnic. I remember being yeah. in boot camp and yeah. you had to go into the gas chamber. Yeah. They teach you how to use your gas mask, right? So when you walk in there, it's fine. Yeah. But it's it's scary and it's dark. You can yeah. barely see each other. Yeah. And then they start letting the gas in. You see the smoke come in and everybody starts freaking out. Then you put your mask on and you got to clear your mask. Yeah. So it gets all the gas out and then you just start breathing. Yeah. That's how I know those damn masks we wearing for COVID, that shit don't work. <laughs> I know what you need to wear. You right? need a damn gas mask. <laughs> <laughs> that little mask you got on right now? No, I've been in the gas chamber. I know it really protects the air that I breathe. Yeah, and it's like that was such a horrible experience. Yeah. All your, I mean, you cannot, if you don't do it properly, you're pretty much choking to death. You're yeah. not choking to death. It feels like you're choking to death. Yeah. Right? But, but this, what you saw on TV, uh, the, in these pictures, that's nothing new. They're soldiers. They're not going to be pampered. Nobody's going to hold their hand. Yeah. That's why when you yeah. see somebody in the service, you should thank them for their service. That's why when I started this video, I thanked them for the service because I've been there. Yeah. You are a social security number to them. You are there to serve. No one's there to hold your hand. Yeah. Nobody's there to pamper you when you're crying and you feel lonely. No, these people are soldiers. Yeah. For anybody that's politicizing this on the left or the right, that's not what's going down. Yeah. I'm just remaining objective. These people yeah. are soldiers. Yeah. You should treat them that way because when it comes to something – they have to go to any uh, deployment where you're going to see some crazy stuff. They got to be be uh, be prepared for this. Yeah, and they uh, can't be there. So where's the hotel at? Yeah. Hey, can I get a hot shower first? No. I, I'll give you another example. So about that time you uh, got some dinner work. All right, I had a toothache, right? I had to go to uh, I was in San Diego, MCRD San Diego. Had a horrible toothache. I didn't brush my teeth when I was young. I was just. Yeah. Anyway, y'all already know that. I had a toothache at 19. <laughs> so <laughs> I had a yuck mouth. Yeah. Um, so I go to the dentist, which is a military doctor, and uh, I'm in pain. I'm like, get me out of pain. So they say, yeah, we're going to do a root canal. And then he looks over me while I'm laying down. He's like, uh, you need to sign these documents because uh, I'm not actually a doctor yet. Yeah. 
People right? are actually training on the soldiers. Yeah. The, the dude died. So what do you mean you're not you're a dentist, right? He said, well, I'm a dentist in training. <laughs> Sign here in case you die. <laughs> I was like, but you're going to take me out of pain. He said, well, yeah, I'm going to do my very best, but this is my first time. <laughs> so they do the root canal, right? I'm still in pain. I'm like, um, I'm still in pain. This is horrible. My face is swelling up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? And Diddy's like, yeah, I'm going to give you some painkillers. This shit wear off over the next two, three days. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a Friday. Yeah. Saturday, I'm not feeling so good in my barracks room, right? And then by that afternoon, I had a fever. And um, I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> right? So they, uh, I go to, um, I forget, I had a friend take me there. It was the um, San Diego Hospital. What was it called? Um, uh, the, it was the Navy Hospital in San Diego. Yeah, I forget the name of it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the Navy Hospital in San Diego. When I get there, and uh, he's like, hey, we got to remove that tooth. I was like, first of all, are you a real doctor? <laughs> he said, no, I'm not. But he is. He's going to watch over and make sure I do everything right. I'm in training. <laughs> so they pulled the damn tooth out. And then as uh, soon as he pulls the tooth out, the guy that pulled us, oh, my God, what is all this green shit? <laughs> the doctor said, that's what you call gang green. Hey, Marine, we just saved your life. Yeah. I think I'm going to get a purple heart for this shit. Yeah, from the moment you enlist in the military, from the moment you get out, yeah. you the first thing you say to yourself whenever you're on deployment or yeah. when you serve in your country, how is my government going to screw me over today? Yeah. And it's an old saying in the military, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, yeah, hurry you, up and wait. Yeah, you're trained. You're always training. And you hurry yeah. up, get there, yeah. and you just sit there and wait. Just wait, like these. Waiting uh, for three hours. Yeah. Yeah. So our recruiters even screwed us. Yeah, they told me, they lied and said I uh, didn't do so hot on the ASVAB. Come to find out when I was getting out of the military, they said, wow, Hodge, you uh, got a real good score in your ASVAB. I said, really? Huh. Could have swore I flunked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the recruiter told me. We're supposed to be military police. Yeah, that's why we joined. I wanted to be a cop. Yeah. yeah. I was going to do my time. I was going to get out, and I was going to yeah. be a cop. I wanted to be a police officer. Come to find out my recruiter lied about everything, about my ASVAB score, about yeah. me being military police. I'm in boot camp, right? They're screaming out people's um um. No, that wasn't until you. Uh, that was Marine combat training when I got out of boot yeah. camp. Turns out we yeah. was open contract. Whatever the Marine Corps needed, yeah, that's what they was gonna give you. And every time they called somebody up, there was open contract. They said O three eleven, and I was like, "What's that?" They said, "That's infantry." I was like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> yeah, that's the so real. So they was calling people. People they were saying O three eleven. You seen grown men crying? And you seen grown yeah. men screaming? Yeah, cause they are uh, they they scored bad on the ASVAB and they just. Or they were just lied by the recruiter saying yeah, they like was open us. contract and they didn't know until it came the time to find out what they was actually doing. Yeah, they called me out. Yeah, I was still thinking at the time. I ain't know any better. I was, I was telling him, I'm going to be a cop, man. I'm military police. <laughs> <laughs> right? Did he call my name out? Lance Corporal Hawks. I said, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting is ordered, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be 3361 subsistence clerk. I was like, what the f*** is that? <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? I'm oh. supposed to have a gun and bullets in it. <laughs> <laughs> Did they and have a uniform. Yeah. Turns out, subsistence clerk, I was working in a mess hall. Yeah. I wasn't a cook. I worked with the cooks, which pretty much made him a cook. When he called me out, and I was like, I already, already, I already knew what I was going to do. They was going to come back and say, Lance Corporal Hart, no 311. I'm going to say, sir, I got something to tell you, sir. What? What is that, sir? I'm a flaming homosexual. <laughs> I can't stop sucking penises. You got to kick me out. <laughs> yeah, back then when we was in the military, if yeah. you was gay, yeah. they would kick you out. So they had this policy, don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, back in those days, they said uh, if you were gay, you had a... They actually said you were crazy. Yeah, they thought they said... Well, I'm not going to even go there. I'm not yeah. saying that was right or wrong, but yeah. that's what that's that's what the policy was. I remember that was a staff sergeant. Yeah. He was gay. We all knew he was gay, but somebody had some evidence on him and showed it to the master gunner sergeant. They kicked him they out. They showed some evidence, huh? Yeah. What was it? 
<laughs> he was doing something gay. <laughs> they kicked that dude out for that. Yeah, that's crazy like, as hell. That was back in the early 90s. Yeah. That was the 90s, yeah. yeah. But anyway. They found, uh, when I was in boot camp, man, they found uh, this little black guy. And uh, I knew he was gay. I mean, you could just look oh, at yeah, him. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah. Then was Jackson. He was gay. Man, he's the best athlete until this day I've ever seen. And he was gay. He was flaming gay. Dude did like uh, 100 dead hang put-ups, could run three miles under 14 minutes. Dude yeah. did like 300 sit-ups in like two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Dude was like super gay. <laughs> super very <bad> gay. <laughs> they found him in the middle of the night with this little white boy. that was on Firewatch. I say, hey, what happened to Jackson and uh, forget the white boy's name? Yeah, man, uh, they gone, man. They gone. I said, what happened to him, man? They kill themselves? Because, you know, people commit suicide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said, no, man, they found that little black boy banging the shit out of that white boy. I said, what? I said, damn. You yeah, let him go, huh? Yeah, you was motor T. You was yeah. motor transport. Yeah, I was motor transport. I didn't finish my story, but yeah. Yeah, yeah lucky came back up through eleven because I don't think honestly I don't think I could have been infantry. I couldn't have cut it. I wasn't mad you, enough. You could have. No, I was it? You could have did it. Kevin. I joined the military for one thing and one thing only. I didn't want to be no foxhole. I wanted to be military police. That's what I want to do. I want to be a cop. But that recruiter lied to me. It was a white guy too. I, he was I asked, probably racist. No, it was, a, it was a white guy, and the other guy was black. Yeah, I got out of um. I was just Marine joking. combat training. I went straight to the recruiter's office. I was, yeah, I was pissed. We was looking for him, yeah. And when I got there, the recruiting office was boarded up, and it was gone. Yeah, it was gone. Thankfully, man, if they were still there, I probably would have did something. Yeah, he's I still... don't know what. I'm not trying to incite violence over here, but, <laughs> you know, some things, one thing could have led uh, to another. It'd have, it'd have been somebody an argument. probably got arrested. Yeah, it had been an argument. But anyway, I would, I, I would, to do things all over again, I yeah. I, I, that was a great experience for me. Yeah. It taught me discipline. Yeah. Met a lot of cool people. Made me a life. man. Yeah, it turns you into a man. Yeah. But um, showed you it, 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 it let me know life is tough. And what you get from life is what, what you, you get out of it. What you put into it. Yeah. And these men, these service members that was in that uh, parking structure, yeah. this is nothing new. This is their soldiers. They're treated that. I'm sure they've been in 10 times worse conditions. This is a picnic for them. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a damn good show. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.